Hey guys, this video is for our second through fourth grade team for March week one. This is actually March 10th because we had a snow day last weekend. We are kicking off March this weekend. So we have a brand new life app, Individuality, Discovering Who You Are Meant to Be. And we're going to say Individuality, Discovering Who God Made You to Be. And um, our story for this week is um, we're teaching kids how they were made in the image of God from Genesis 1. And our bottom line is God made me in his image. And the basic truth that we're learning about all month is I can trust God no matter what. So jumping over to our memory verse, our new memory verse for the month is how you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful. I know that very well. Psalm 139, 14. So make sure all the kids take one of these home this week. And also a car ride conversation goes over that we're learning we are made in the image of God. Ask the important question, what does it mean to be made in God's image? has something that parents can do in the morning this month with their kids, the memory verse, and our life app for the month. So jumping into our leader guide, we would love for you to join us at 820 and 1020 in the garage door room for coffee and donuts. It's just a great time to get to know everyone from Oak Bridge Kids. We pray with each other and celebrate with each other, and we'll also just be praying that this week kids understand what it means to be created in God's image. We'll finish up with that at 8.30 and 10.30. And if you don't join us for Coffee and Donuts, just make sure that you're into your small group by 8.30 and 10.30 so that when kids roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, you are ready to go. So for our interactivity, you are just going to have some Starburst candies. And as kids enter, you're going to welcome them. Make sure you know everybody's name. Make sure everybody feels welcome and comfortable, especially first-time kiddos. And then you're going to let each kid select a Starburst. But before they eat their candy, they have to answer one of the questions below based on the color Starburst that they pick. So just a fun little icebreaker. Then when service starts at 9 and 11, you're going to do an interactivity called What Do You See? And you've got a puzzle on your cart, actually two puzzles on your cart. And before kids arrive, you're going to pull out several pieces from each puzzle. So one for each kid. And you're going to pass out one of those puzzle pieces to each kid. So you're going to give each kid in your group one of the puzzle pieces. And then you're going to go around the circle and let each kid hold up their puzzle piece to see if they can identify something that's happening in the puzzle. And you're going to help kids who have pieces from the same puzzle group together and then give them the rest of the puzzle pieces to complete their puzzle. And once the puzzles are together, see if their one piece predictions were correct. So you've got two puzzles on your cart. You can split kids into two groups to do that depending on how big your group is. And you'll just close that activity down by saying, so guys, this activity had you a little puzzled at first, didn't it? It was hard to know exactly what image would appear without a clear picture of the whole thing. So did you guys know that you have an image? In fact, you were made to reflect someone very important. And we're going to learn about that in large group today. So then head down to large group with your kiddos. We've got live storyteller and host to kick off our new month. Like always, just make sure that you're sitting with your small group, helping them to engage in the worship and in the story. When we get back from large group for our review activity, you are going to need this activity page that looks like a little picture frame like this and just some scissors and markers. So what you're going to do is you're going to pass out the picture frame to each kid in your group and just encourage them to decorate it any way they want with markers. And then they're going to cut out the middle of the frame and you're going to have kids write their name on the back of their frame and then you're going to set it to the side for the prayer later. And you'll just close this activity down by saying, so guys, I love how unique and individual each one of your frames are just like you. But we all have one big thing in common, and that's that God made us in his image. And the way God made you is completely wonderful. And so I want you to take these frames home and tape them up on your mirror so that it frames your face when you look at your reflection. So each time you brush your teeth or comb your hair, I want you to remember that God loves you so much, enough to create you to be like him so that he could have a relationship with you. So just never forget, God made you in his image. Then for our memory verse activity, you're just going to need your Bibles. You're going to help kids look up Psalm 139, 14 this week. And then once you've found the verse, go over it a few times with the motions and then split your group up into two teams. And you're going to assign each phrase of the verse broken down to each team. So for team one, you're going to give them how you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. And team two, you're going to tell they're going to get what you have done is wonderful. I know that full well. Psalm 139, 14. So group one is going to begin by repeating phrase one as group two follows with phrase two. So it'll go group one, then group two. But before they start reciting, group one has to huddle up and quietly select an emotion for that they're going to show on their face. So they'll all be sad or they'll all be scared or happy. And then once they're finished, group two is going to mirror that emotion. And then for the next round, you're going to switch. 
Group two will select an emotion and say the first phrase, and group one will mirror and say the second phrase. And then you can just go back and forth and they can change emotions as they say the memory verse. And you'll just close this down by saying, you guys did a great job mirroring the emotions of the other team as we repeated this month's memory verse. And I love the fact that no matter how you're feeling, whether you're sad or frustrated or worried or scared, those emotions don't change who you are. The way God made you is amazing and wonderful. And you can know that 100% because God made us in his image. So then um, for your small group discussion questions, if you want as your group to go over these, why is, um, oop, you know what? I did not change those from last month. Just kidding. Don't go over those because those talk about self-control and that's not what we're talking about. Sorry, I didn't change those for this week. So then you'll close down with prayer. You'll need their picture frames that they made. And then you have these. They'll actually be on labels. So these little labels that say God made me in his image. And what you're going to do is you're going to tell kids, so guys, what are some ways God created us to be different? And what are some things we have in common? Let your group brainstorm that. And then how can knowing that you're created in God's image help when you mess up? How about when you're feeling insecure or unsure? So talk about that a little bit. And when you're struggling with somebody who is annoying or frustrating, why is it important to remember that they are made in God's image? Talk about that. And how should the fact that God made everyone in his image affect how you treat others? Talk about that. Oh, you know what I did? That's totally what I did. I think these are the group, these are the questions and I put them here. So, sorry. Okay, so what you're going to do, I messed that up totally. You're going to take these labels and they're going to put them around their picture frame and each week, they're going to get a new label to take home and add to their picture frame and remind them that you want them to hang this on their mirror so that when they look into it, they can see themselves. And then you'll just close down with that prayer. Totally messed that bottom part up. Just remind them, don't forget to take their frames home to remind them that they are made in God's image. And that's it for this week, guys. Thank you so, so much for just being such great small group leaders and just showing up faithfully for your few. Make sure that your small group takes home a memory verse card and a car ride conversation this week. And thank you guys so much for serving. We'll see you on Sunday.